<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can set up RetroArch on your Super Nintendo Classic, uh, Super Famicom Classic, Nintendo Classic, or Famicom Classic, any of the mini systems. Now, I'm going to be using a Super Nintendo Classic for this example, uh, but the install is going to be the same really across all systems. You just have to change the setting on Hackchi. Now, this is going to require a few things. Of course, it will require your mini system. It's also going to require that you at least have the basic understanding of Hackchi. Uh, so, I do have guides on how to set up Hackchi on either a Nintendo or Super Nintendo, and I have covered this already. So, I'm going to be using the latest version available at least to me. And then, what you want to do is you also want to grab the latest release of RetroArch Clover. Uh, now, you can come down here, and there's going to be a few things you'll need to download. At minimum, you need Retro arch with cores now just as an added bonus you can also add the clover app and you need to pick which one you have if you have a nintendo or a famicom you pick for nes if you have a super nintendo or a super famicom you pick for snes so you download those two files that you need or at least this one file i'll download both of them and then you want to continue onto your system with hackchi so now we're over at hackchi i have my system set up i have hackchi kernel installed on it and you're just going to do a few things. You need to grab your retro arch with cores, drag and drop it right here. It's going to bring in all of these extra modules. You can pick what you want to, I'm just going to add everything on here and hit OK. Now it's going to tell you to do this, so all you need to do is turn off your system of course, and then turn it on by holding the reset button in, and then once this goes away, you can let go. So the system's off, I'm holding reset, turning the system on, wait a few seconds and at this point it's now uploading. So we can wait a few minutes here for this. So at this point that is now complete, we can hit okay. And if we want the Clover app on here, you can again just drag and drop this, it will load it up as a game. That is going to be our little icon right there. So we can go ahead and hit okay on that. Uh, but we also want to add over our games. So this is an optional step, but we do want to add games and we now have the cores in place. So I'm going to add a few games over. First of all, I'm going to add, let's say, Scooby-Doo and Ease, these two games right here. But we also want to add games from other systems. That seems pretty logical. So I grabbed a N64 game. I'm just going to pop Banjo-Kazooie on here. And I'm going to show you all a few things. First of all, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, this game obviously is a N64 game. You don't have to do anything on here to get this to run. Now, of course, not all games are going to run properly on here, um, but this one I was at least able to get started up and such. Uh, for my Scooby-Doo game, I'm not going to do anything on here, but for Yeez, this is, let's say if you have a game you want to specifically run in RetroArch, uh, or maybe you have a game, a Super Nintendo game or Super Famicom game that does not work on the system itself. Well, you could actually force it to run in RetroArch. What you want to do is you want to pick your game, you want to come to com command line here, go to the very end, and type in one space, two dashes, and then type in RetroArch. Just like that. So that's all we need to do. Now at this point, I'm going to grab all three of these games, right click, download box art for selected games, and wait a few seconds. As you can see, that's our box art. All these games have been added in. This is the Super Nintendo game we're going to run in RetroArch. So at this point, you can now say synchronize selected games, and it's going to add all of them to our system. And now that's completed. So now that we have the games that we wanted added over, I'm going to show you how to use this on your actual console. So now that we're back over at the console, as you can see, RetroArch has been set up. So I'm just going to go in here, launch this. And if you want to see all the stuff, you can go ahead, load up a core if you want to check your content, change around your settings. One thing I'd recommend changing at one point is your input in case you're having any issues on that. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to quit out of this. So I would at least recommending, recommend having RetroArch on here, uh, just a little icon. Now, to load up an actual game, so Super Scooby-Doo is going to load up like a normal Super Nintendo game. Uh, but something else such as Yeez, for example, let me find this because I have put the RetroArch flag on here. You can just launch it like a regular game and then wait a few seconds and it should boot up as you can see right there. But on a Super Nintendo, if you hold down left, right, start and select, it pauses the game in the background and it brings up the RetroArch main menu where right here you could change around any of the settings again if you need to, like your inputs for example. I'd recommend messing around with that if you ever feel the need to do so. Uh, but I'm going to, let's say, just quit out of RetroArch right there. 
and that does quit out of the game, so just kind of be careful on that. But we can use our saves there if we really want to. I'm going to open this up. Wait a few seconds, and as you can see, the game is working. So this is a Super Nintendo game running through RetroArch. Again, extremely useful if you have any games that might not be working properly on here, or if you have any other titles that just don't launch at all, because uh, it uses the SNEX 9X core. Uh, now I'm going to actually quit out of this and show you all a N64 game working. So I have Banjo-Kazooie right here. No flag has been added to this, I just added it to the system after I added the cores. And if you wait a few seconds, so as you can see, the game is working. Again, I will bring up the menu that is RetroArch loaded up, exit out of here. Um, but the game is working. It seems to be running fine on here, and you can tweak the settings all you want to. But at this point, we now have our console modified with HackChi kernel, and we have RetroArch cores on there along with a N64 game, which, of course, since this is not a N64 mini, uh, we're not going to normally have this on here. Anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, a like would very much be appreciated. If you absolutely hated it, a dislike is fine as well, too. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Off. Thank you all for watching everyone.